Hive is an early access PC port of a tile-based tabletop game, or a board game without a board as it describes itself. Developed and published by Blue Line Games, it offers a simple premise with a complex range of tactics. Your goal is to surround your opponent's Queen Bee using other insects, and technically an arachnid, without your bee becoming surrounded. The complexity comes in the specific rules for each bug, with one of them even able to move in three dimensions. These movement rules are designed to tie into the insects they apply to as well. For example, the grasshopper is capable of leaping over other pieces, the ant can scurry around the edge of the playing field with ease, and the spider moves exactly three spaces at a time. Actually, on reflection, maybe the spider one doesn't make that much sense. It would probably just eat the other insects or something. But moving on to other features, the soundtrack is fairly pleasant, although regrettably consists of a single panpipe piece on a loop, which you can't turn off. It conjures an unpleasant feeling of being trapped in a fair trade gift shop. In fact, there are no settings at all as of yet, so you can't get rid of the ambient noise in game, and you're only able to play in windowed mode. However, given that this is an early access game, these shortcomings are easily forgiven, on the presumption that those features will be added in at a later point. Hive sticks to the board game theme by providing not a tutorial, but a list of rules for you to read, like a nerd. With that said, you may wish to bring some reading material with you if you intend to play against the AI on the highest difficulty level, because before each move it makes, it appears to download a 5GB TXT file on which move to use in the given scenario, with a small progress bar as indication that time itself has in fact not frozen. Beyond that, the art style for the menu and the UI is neat, but not particularly conducive towards an insect-themed game, though credit where credit is due, hexagons are everywhere. There's no real animation of note either, which is an opportunity I hope Blue Line won't miss in the future. One thing I was uncomfortable with was the inclusion of the pill bug, which exists as an expansion for the physical version of the game as DLC. Although not technically a part of the vanilla version of the game, it seems rather audacious to have early access DLC on a game that exists on other platforms for a much lower price. My main gripe with it is that in an online game, if your opponent owns the DLC and you don't, you'll be able to use the pill bug, but you won't have been provided with the rules for the piece, which confers an advantage on the player who owns the DLC. Even if you Google the rules, which you can do, you're being forced to play a version of the game that your opponent knows better than you do. Unfortunately, online mode is not available in the current unfinished version of Hive, and so, bereft of friends in the physical world, I matched my wits against those of the AI. As it turns out, employing a certain strategy against it will unfailingly lead you to victory on all difficulty levels, which stifles the challenge somewhat. Benevolent mastermind that I am, I will gladly divulge the specifics of this infallible plan. Step 1. Place a grasshopper down. Step 2. Place your queen bee behind the grasshopper. Step 3. Place an ant on the space adjoining the other two pieces. Step 4. Write a comprehensive dissertation on the significance of Prussian Chancellor Otto von Bismarck in securing the unification of the German states in 1871 while you wait for the AI to take its turn. Use future pauses in gameplay to check that you've correctly employed the Harvard referencing system. Step 5. Place your ant behind the enemy bee. Step 6. Place a beetle near the bee and then maneuver it so that you can jockey that fucker. Step 7. Assemble an ant-based flash mob to the rear of the bee. Step 8. Fill this penultimate hexagon with whatever piece you want, really. You may notice at this stage that the AI has become despondent and is absentmindedly stringing insects together without any semblance of a greater strategy, though still occupying about 3-5 to five minutes with decision time. Step 9. Slide your jockey beetle towards his seat of honour at the table of victory. And there you have the unbeatable play, which the AI can't seem to handle. There may sometimes be variations that require you to adapt ever so slightly, but they're rarely significant, and as you descend the difficulty levels, the AI starts to put in even less effort, and gratifyingly a lot less time as well. Having ruled out the AI as a sustainable source of entertainment, it's clear that the online and local multiplayer modes will become the focus of this game, and with that in mind, I'd like to explain why you don't need the PC version of this game. It mostly comes down to price. Right now, the early access version of this game costs 5 English pounds, DLC not included. That price is set to rise upon the full release of the game. While I appreciate that the developers at least have their pricing strategy the right way around, I'm looking at you, Prison Architect, the cost is unjustifiable when we look at other platforms. For iOS, this game costs $1 and has online and local matches, AI, and is graphically comparable to the PC version. Not that graphics would be a selling point here anyway. 
If you've yet to burn your Xbox 360 in rapturous anticipation of the next generation of console gaming, you can buy the exact same version of this game for one dollar. Android has a free version of Hive available, which is lamentably shit, but the point is that Hive is available on a range of devices much better suited to local co-op for a much lower price, with no considerable difference in quality. There is no merit to the increased price, nor to owning the game on Steam rather than on another platform, and so I'd recommend against purchasing this game unless you're truly desperate for an icebreaker over the festive period.